Hey everyone, Hassan here, and I have another Power Rangers review for you today. This is a review of the SH Figure Arts model for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger. This is Tommy Oliver, the legend, the guy that everybody is probably sick of. Um, this is him right here. Um, and probably in, in his, my, in his, my, that doesn't even make sense. In his favorite, no, in in his suit, that is a favorite of mine. I think that is what I was trying to say. In that, he's been multiple rangers. But um, this is my favorite of his, the Green Ranger suit. Uh, just because it's classic and it looks cool. The Dragon Shield is just awesome. I like having that on there. Um, so this is it. And no stupid silver line on here, too. Which, I mean, I don't know why they would put that anyways. But a lot of times we see this suit, we see a little silver line on the helmet now. Um, which this doesn't have, so this is accurate to the original. Uh, because this is to celebrate the original. So this is a SH figure it's model um, of, in Japan, it was from Z-Ranger. Uh, so this was the, the Dragon Ranger in Japan. And it was released in Japan. It had the same kind of thing, except I think the neck and the, the belt, um, they had different accessories that you could swap out that had like American flag colors on them, which is from the Akiba Ranger show in Japan. Um, but this one is meant for the, this is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers release, the U.S. release. So they didn't include those parts because, you know, that's from the Japanese show. Um, but, uh, so that, I wanted to get the American packaging and everything. I wanted to celebrate Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because that's what I grew up with. I didn't grow up, grow, grew up with. I didn't grow up with ZU Ranger. I can't talk today, apparently. Um, so first I want to take a quick look at the packaging. So let's move the figure aside and let's see the box here. So... Um, this is the same style as the, the Red Ranger Mighty Morphin packaging here. Um, it says Green Ranger on it. And uh, so there's the the model right there, which looks really cool. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers celebrating 20 years. So there's that. The, the back of the packaging, it's really hard to tell. It's harder with the green, but you see there's green packaging there. Here, let me open it up so I can kind of explain. The back of this um, here says it's got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo and stuff on it and the packaging in there so that's what I was trying to say um but uh yeah so that's kind of neat you know to to have that little background thing in there um but uh anyways the box also says there's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger Green Ranger on the side there Green Ranger up there UPC there and an actual picture of the Green Ranger figure there um it's a Green Ranger there ooh nice and shiny um then the back shows this here so in typical figure art style it shows you different poses that you can make so what's really cool about these models is how poseable they are um a little tape it's kind of annoying but um and it also comes with a lot of cool accessories like the dragon dagger and the sword of darkness which is sweet um and yeah there's the green ranger in his classic pose which i cannot do with my figure like it's i have tried. I'm not very good to begin with at trying to model the figure arts, but this one in particular is really tricky. Um, I might try and show you guys just to give you an idea, but um, I mean, in general, this this uh, kind of gives you an idea of some of the poses there. So, so yeah, so there's that. Um, it does come with a little instruction sheet as well. So it comes with various hands, which I'll show you, and those two weapons there. Um, so with those hands, real quick, it comes with... Um, let me try and focus first here. Uh, two fists, so you can have those those fists there for him. Um, it comes with two like open hands, like with circles there, so you can kind of um, put some weapon in there maybe. So you have those options there. Um, it comes with two grabby hands, I guess, for grabbing. I don't know what to what to call these. Um, and then two other hands for just... Um, I think these are for the flute, for the dragon dagger. Um, so you can use it for that. So so there's those right there. Um, and the actual uh, figure itself. Um, so this one right now, he's he, he's using two hands that are used to hold some of the, uh, the weapons there. So let's actually, let's take a look at the weapons real quick uh, up close and see what those are like. And these ones are really cool. Oh, his hand just flew off. Um, so, by the way, with the hands, they are, you know, you can just pop them on and off um, like so. I guess this one in particular is kind of loose. I mean, not, not loose, but looser than usual. 
Um, so here is the dragon dagger here. So a lot of great detail, the paint and everything. The tip is pretty sharp too. Um, you have a little dragon coin on there, which looks great. Um, yeah, just overall. I mean, figure arts weapons are some of my just favorites. That's one of the best parts about them, just to have really cool weapons there. Um, and we also have the Sword of Darkness. Um, so this was, you know, when he was an evil ranger on the show. Um, and this thing is just pretty massive, too, which is really cool. Um, and the tip is pretty sharp. And this thing, it has kind of a glossy, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like a little glossy, um, rubbery sort of uh, circle thing inside, which kind of looks really neat. It, it doesn't show off very well on camera. I'm trying to show it, but... Um, but yeah, now it's completely unfocused. Um, yeah, but anyway, it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, maybe that's kind of a better look at it. So yeah, really nice figure there. Um, really, or weapon. And the figure itself is, is pretty sweet, too. So here is the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. And uh, let's take an up-close look at this guy here. So here's the helmet. And great detail on the helmet. You can even see... A little paint on that up there, and just overall, really nice detail there. Uh, the shield is great too. It's nice and and shiny and everything. Um, really nice gold color. So that's pretty cool. I think the shield is possibly removable, but you kind of have to like. I think somebody said you have to take off the arms or something. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try and do that because I'm sure to screw something up. Um, and he has a power morph on there, and it's gold. And it has the dragon coin in it, so really cool attention detail. And yeah, I mean that's there's your figure right there. Um, so I mean this thing just in general looks really cool. Let me try and get him standing here just so you can see. Uh, he he looks great just to have on display. I think. Um, I mean that's definitely can't even get him to, to stand properly now. Um, but that's just me not being good at doing this stuff. So, I mean, he looks really cool just in general, just standing there, he's sort of standing. And, you know, if you have the other figure arts as well, um, it's great to kind of have a whole team together, which I'm excited to get the whole Mighty Morphin team. That's going to be great. Um, but for this guy, so in terms of articulation, uh, you know, his head does rotate around 360 degrees, can move all around, so no issues there. The arms also, they're slightly hindered by the shield, but they can still move at least uh, horizontally. You have um, elbow articulation there. The hands obviously can rotate around 360 degrees because they're on a um, that little ball joint thing, so you can remove the hands. You can also extend the arms, like you can rotate them around like that um, on both sides. The chest you can kind of extend and you know move it in and out like that. Um, Legs move forward and back and side to side, and you have the knees and the feet, um, and this part of the feet can move too. So lots of articulation there um, for these figure arts. So yeah, I mean, um, overall, really cool looking figure. And then you can also put, by the way, you can put the dragon dagger in the, the holster there if you want, so it kind of sticks in there. Um, so you have that. Um, but let me try and let's do a little pose with this guy. Um, let's try and get the, I'll show you how difficult the, the, the flute pose is. Um, so we'll switch out some of the hands here. So we'll take this hand out and you can kind of get an idea of, of how it is to, to model these. I have a bunch of figure, like I have the, this guy, the red Mighty Morphin one. I have, um, Shinkin Red, Shinkin Gold, Gokai Red, Gokai Silver. I just got Gokai Silver a couple days ago, but I was trying to set up a display piece. It takes a while to, like, get all these guys set up and everything. Um, it's, a, it's a process. But it, it's worth it in the end. Um, I have them displayed on... You can buy these little stands for the figures as well. So these are sold separately, but... So I have them... You, you can kind of display them on stands like so. I mean, that's not really much of a pose, but you can have them doing crazy poses and stuff, and um, it looks really sweet.
All right, so now let's attempt to you do this uh, to do this dragon dagger pose. So here's the box, um, and I just want to kind of give an idea of how it is to what these things are about because they're not meant for kids. You know, I think the back the box will say these are for ages 15 and up. Um, these are collectors models for those that aren't familiar with figure arts. Um, so and I'm my stomach is rumbling because I'm apparently hungry, um, but uh, yeah, I mean these things are not really. Um, meant for for kids at all um is this the right hand for it possibly all right so you kind of have to stick that in there and then let's see you bend it like so all right let me stick it in this one first and then you kind of has to now this must just might be me not being good at doing the figure arts um <laughs> Yeah, that's not working. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can just kind of see, in general, just the the great detail that these figures have. Um, and it looks really sweet. And you can have a display, if you have both the green and red rangers, you can have a display of him holding the Sword of Darkness, fighting the Red Ranger or something. And it just looks really cool. Um, so I definitely recommend this. This thing, um, I, I believe Amazon's probably getting in a couple of days. I order this off of Image Anime. Um, they had some in stock, but this should be showing up on Amazon pretty soon, so you'll you'll be able to to see that and, and order it if you want. I think it's around I want to say like forty five ish something like that in terms of the dollars amount, um, and that's pretty standard for figure arts. They tend to be you know pretty expensive because they are models. They're not really toys. They're for collectors. Um, but uh, in my opinion, this is one of my favorites just because, I mean, it looks cool. I like the design of the suit. And also, you know, the nostalgia plays a part of it, too, seeing the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. I mean, it's what I grew up with, you know? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I really like this thing, and I, I recommend it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, post them in the comments below, and uh, I'll try and answer them for you. And uh, stay tuned for lots more reviews from me coming up in the future. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.